When you think about exploring the world, there are things that you know you're supposed to see or meant to see, and then there are things that are so odd, so creepy or menacing and frightening that you wish you'd never seen them at all. Or there could be an event that could harm you, or animals or plant life that you shouldn't witness up close. The world is a wild and dangerous place at times, and it has been for many millions of years, depending on how you think that the planet evolved. But what are some of the things that you should only read about? Here now are 20 things that humans were never meant to see. Number 20. Pollen Bomb Anytime something has the word bomb in it, it's rarely a good thing because it usually means either an explosion of some kind, which could harm a lot of things, or it means a bomb-like effect, which can be just as problematic. The latter is what I'm talking about with the pollen bomb. This is an event that you don't want to be caught up in if you don't desire to be sick for a long time. Pollen bombs occur when groups of trees each release millions of grains of pollen in a short amount of time. A strong gust of wind can stir up enough pollen to look like smoke from a bomb explosion or create a thick haze of dust. The more trees in your area, the more pollen. And as you likely know from your own allergies or perhaps someone else's, more pollen in the area can make your senses go haywire You could get sick, congested, have a sinus issue, and so on. So a little cloud of pollen dust filling up an area, well, that's not really a fatal thing, but it's not something that you want to be anywhere near. Typically, these bombs happen after a long winter, and then they're followed by a hot and windy day. So on one hand, you won't have to fear it happening on any particular day, but you'll definitely want to be careful after winter when you go near a wooded area. Seriously, allergies are terrible, and when they strike you, you could be out for days. If you don't want that to happen to you suddenly, be mindful of the danger that is a pollen bomb. I can note that a pollen bomb is fun to say, but it's more menacing than it deserves to be. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Take a look at this picture, and before you say anything, I know it's not real. In this case, it's actually the point. The picture is from an AI that was tasked with finding out what humans will look like in a thousand years. It's not the easiest of tasks when you think about it. After all, 1,000 years for humans is more about the technologies that have evolved and not necessarily the people. But then again, with the right technology, people could augment themselves very easily. Based on the rendering, Humanity will most likely look the same, but our eye sockets do appear to be bigger, and perhaps our faces may be a bit longer. The AI was said to have come up with this image after many tests, and obviously we don't know exactly how we'll look in a thousand years because none of us will be around that long, but it is nice to think about. As always, comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic. Number 19. Whales Sleeping Vertically Whales are some of the biggest species of animals in our world. In fact, the largest mammal is the blue whale, which, depending on who you believe, can measure up to about 100 feet in length. Oh, and don't get me started on their weight. They are very heavy beasts. Yet, despite all of that size, they're more times than not very gentle creatures who just want to live their lives with their pods in the ocean. It's true that we do know a lot about whales, but there are some things that still weird us out about them from time to time. For example, with sperm whales. When they sleep, it's a bit atypical. Now, there have been multiple videos and pictures taken of sperm whale sleep patterns, and as you can see, they sleep vertically, as in nearly perfectly vertical in the water that they're in. And when you see a group of them doing this, you might get the false impression that they're dead, because it is a bit creepy to be frank. So why is it that the sperm whales do this? The answer lies in their makeup. While whales are aquatic creatures, they still need oxygen to survive. When you sleep, it's hard to get to the surface to get the air that you need, so they sleep vertically, so that, should the urge to get more oxygen arrive, they can just get to the surface quickly and get what they require. But wait, there's more. Another reason for this is that 
that sperm whales know that they have predators around them at times. Orcas, pilot whales, false killer whales, and more may attack them while they sleep, so sleeping vertically allows them to keep one eye open for threats, and they shut down only 50% of their brain function so that they can stay alert enough to strike when necessary. And while it may look odd from the outside, all they're really doing is just trying to stay alive. Number 18. Devil's Fingers Fungus Now I'm going to show you a weird plant, and it's one that I'm fine with not really seeing live, because it's really that creepy. The Devil's Fingers Fungus is a striking species and reached Europe from Australia or New Zealand at the beginning of the First World War. Like the common stinkhorn and the dog stinkhorn, this fungus emerges from a partly buried white ball, in a way that adds to the creepiness as when it emerges, it looks like spread out fingers. Or as people in the United States call it, octopus tentacles. We can see both sides to that image now, can't we? Another thing that should put you off about this fungus is that it smells really bad. That's what the devil's work is, right? You may look at this plant and wonder, well, is it edible? Technically, yeah, and it's been proven not to be toxic, so that's definitely a plus. However, that doesn't mean that you should eat it. Again, it smells, so trying to put it near your mouth is a risky move. Plus, unlike many other plants and fungus, there's no record of this plant being eaten by other cultures. The eggs of the plant are said to be quite edible, but again, no one has been proven to have eaten them in the past. One sad thing about this plant is that it's one that's being harmed because of global warming. That's why it's so rare in places like Britain. As such, if you were to find one, you should leave it alone so that it can spread and grow elsewhere. The last thing that anyone needs is another extinct species in our world. But seriously, why would anyone name the thing Devil's Finger Fungus? Are you just asking for trouble? Number 17. Moose Walking on Water have you ever witnessed something that makes you question your grip on the world? Like you saw something so spectacular or weird or shocking that you wonder if you really know anything anymore? Well, I'm about to show you a video that's likely to make you have such questions, but I'll do my best to answer them. I don't want you stressed out or anything. What we have here is a video that's taken from a boat nothing out of the ordinary, except that the people on the boat are speeding along when a moose begins running on the water right next to them. And when I say on the water, I do mean that literally. Watch the video and you'll see that it's running pretty dang close upon the surface of the water. It even has such bandwidth that it crosses in front of the boat, making the riders even more awestruck. So what exactly are we looking at here? Well, the obvious exclamation would be it's a fake, but there might be an actual explanation to what's going on. The answer to all of this? Magic. Yeah, it's clearly a magic moose that was blessed by... I know, you're just shaking your head, aren't you? Well, the actual logical explanation has to do with water depth. As some eagle-eyed viewers of the original video have noted, the moose is running along at quite a clip without causing too much splashing. So when it crosses in front of the boat, the splashes get bigger. You know, as if it were crossing into deeper waters. And if you were to put a human in shallow stretches of water and have them run through it, you could arguably get the same effect. I can't say for certain if it's real, but I also can't definitively state that it's fake. Number 16. Build Around It the next one is sadly not a one-off, and it's proof that the Chinese government doesn't have the best of interests for their people. This would take place not too long ago when the government was trying to buy up land and make a new highway. The problem is that one of the landowners was being stubborn, they didn't want the money, and they didn't want to move. So as was their right, they just stayed there and refused to budge. More specifically, the woman who has the home said that she wasn't given good options by the government on where to move, so she stayed. She also said that she likes the spot that she's in, even with the bridge all around her. And if you think she's nuts, well, she doesn't care about that either. The government has stated that they will continue to negotiate with her. Previously, she was offered many flats and cash, but refused to budge. Though it should be noted that one of the places she was offered was 
next to a morgue. I can understand not wanting to live near such a place. Remember when I said a little bit ago that this was not the only time it's happened in China? Well, I'm not joking. Multiple people have refused to give up their lands and homes so that the Chinese government could destroy them and build something else in their place. Building around and over these homes have almost become standard practice in the country, which shows not only how much the Chinese government is trying to expand, but how many people are willing to stand up to them. I'm not saying that you should do this with your home, but it is a legal option. Number 15. The Suicide Forest while many do try to paint the world as a bright and cheery place, there is a counterbalance to it all. There are some places that are dark, dreadful, and even haunting. A great example of such a place is the Suicide Forest in Japan. Located just two hours out of Tokyo, the forest has been home to a large number of suicides over the years. More than 100 people who were not from the area that surrounded it have committed suicide there between the years of 2013 and 2015. That's just in a two-year span. The nature of the forest has been talked about and played up for over 60 years. There was even a book that was written about it and stories in the forest that took place in popular television shows. And then there was that idiot Logan Paul who made fun of a potential victim within the forest. He's a terrible person. But while suicide is a sad part of our world, why does it keep happening here? The answer may come from those who almost took their lives there but stopped at the last second. According to some of them, they they went there because they knew that they could die without being noticed. Psychiatrists think that because there have been so many deaths in the forest in the past, people who are low take comfort that while they will die, they won't be alone, as others who have taken their lives will be there with them. Even more say that it's the media that have driven people to the area, and we may never know the truth. However, what we can say is that just outside of the forest is a sign that says all life is precious and that you should remember that when entering. Number 14. The Dancing Mangrove Trees Given the heaviness of the last topic, I'll discuss something a bit more positive. On the island of Sumba, you're likely to see some really interesting things just offshore. Specifically, you're going to see a set of mangrove trees. And what makes these trees so special is that not only do they grow right out of the water, they also have a unique look to them that makes them seem like they're dancing. As you can see in these pictures, the trees have a unique stance that when put together makes it look like they're doing a dance routine. Plus, some of the branches and canopies are really bent over, so they give the look that they weren't born that way, but instead moved that way. It's a really striking visual, especially in the black and white photographs that some have taken of the trees. When you see shots of groups of these trees together, you get the impression that they're doing a dance routine and just waiting for someone to tell them to start. Now, these trees can only be found on that island, so if you want to check them out, you're going to have to go for a bit of a travel. Number 13. The Gates of Hell now, no one is meant to see the gates of hell before they die. Its fiery pits and demonic voices are going to cause you to wish you never laid eyes on them. But fortunately in this situation, I'm not talking about the actual gates of hell. In Turkmenistan, there is a crater that is known as the gates of hell. And within that, it is called that because it's been ablaze for decades. But how does something like that happen? Well, when the Soviet Union owned the area, they drilled in a spot to search for oil. But Instead, they found a pocket of natural gas. The ground collapsed and they lost the equipment, and they couldn't retrieve it because of the dangers, so they decided to burn the gas up by lighting it on fire. The theory being that eventually the gas pocket would end and then they could get everything they lost. That was over 50 years ago though, and it's still burning today. It's so popular, in fact, that it's become a tourist destination and has been featured on multiple programs. In 2022, they finally decided that enough was enough and commissioned some good people to try and figure out a solution to put out the fires, but who knows if they actually have. Number 12. The Donical Depression the Donical Depression can be found in Ethiopia, and it's not really meant to be seen because of what caused the depression to form. The spot is on what happens to be the home to not one, not two, but three tectonic plates. You know, the things that hold land masses of the world up and 
cause earthquakes when they shift. Despite the plates being a stable part of the world, they often move every year, and it's only a few centimeters, but that is enough to make some things happen, such as cause a depression in Africa. The depression itself sits more than 100 meters below sea level and contains some of the world's most extraterrestrial landscapes. But wait, there's more. The other reason that you're not supposed to see it is that it's pretty deadly if you go there. Now, the thing is, it's been dubbed one of the hottest places on the planet, plus it's home to salt lakes, lava lakes, volcanoes, and colorful acidic springs. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to enjoy, unless you want to die. Despite these pitfalls, falls, scientists do flock to the area to study it and study the life that does indeed exist there, but I guess that some people just don't care for their own safety. Number 11. Caño Cristales there are several rivers in the world today that you'll definitely want to see, and the Caño Cristales is one of them despite its atypical look. No, not the look of the river as in its shape, but rather the colors that the river can be. The bed of the river from the end of July through November is variously colored, yellow, green, blue, black, and especially red, and you've likely heard of multicolored rivers in the past, but to this level, probably not so much. Thankfully, we do know the reason for the coloring of this river. Part of it is due to the very clear nature of the water half of the year. It's so clear that you can see right to the bottom of it and it alters your perception. The other part is that during the rainy season, the river becomes flooded with plant life. That plant life has a lot of colors, which includes one particular species that likes the river that is bright red. So when you mix clear water with outside sources, you get a rainbow river. If you want to see the river for yourself, you're going to need to head to Colombia, and I also recommend the coffee when you're there. Number 10. Dummy Tanks the next one you better hope you don't see, because if someone is using this tactic, it means that they're trying to fool you. Subterfuge has long been a key part of military strategy for eons, but in World War II, when the Allies were trying to get ready for the invasion of Normandy, they had to make sure that the Germans weren't aware of what they were doing. The German intelligence network was vast and they had spread all over Europe, so what the Allies did was to make fake inflatable tanks and put them on the beaches of England. That way, when spies took pictures, it would make it look like the tanks were going to cross the English Channel and attack the German forces there. They even put General Patton on the beach with the tanks to sell the illusion. Thankfully, it all worked out, and the invasion of Normandy would lead to the end of the European side of the conflict in just a year's time. Number 9. Blood Falls in Antarctica, there is a spot within a glacier where you're going to see something truly odd. It's a waterfall, one that is red in nature. Yes, as in there is blood water flowing out of the glacier and into the ocean. When it was first spotted over 110 years ago, it would cause quite the stir. Later on, people went back to the blood falls, not only to see what it was like, but to figure out what was going on to cause such a thing. Some people thought that it was algae being in the water in such amounts that it changed the color, which was a fair theory, but it was also incorrect. It was later discovered that the waters of the glacier had very little exposure to oxygen and had multiple compounds that could rust. As such, when the water flows out into the air, the chemical-laced water then shifts its appearance. Number 8. Square Cloud Have you ever just looked at the sky. I mean, all jokes aside, the clouds that we see almost every day are ones that lots of people do pay attention to. If for no other reason, then they want to see what the cloud looks like in their eyes. But every once in a while, the clouds that form have a different shape or structure than what you may be used to. How about a cloud that's square? No, not one that appears to be square, but it actually comes to a point on one side. Yes, there's a picture of that, and many people felt that it was proof of weather control. Others felt that it was created by aliens because, well, why not at this point? Here's another thought, though. It could just be a perfectly shaped cloud. I mean, weirder things have happened in our world. Number 7. Breathing Forest in Quebec, a video post that was proven to be a real video would shock many people when it showed a forest area breathing, as in you could see the ground pulse as it supposedly breathed. To be clear though, the forests of our world are alive, but not in the way that we can see them breathe. 
As the post went around, many people began to wonder what this phenomenon was. The answer is a bit more simple than you would expect. If you watch the video again, you're going to see that it is a very windy day and that the trees are being whipped around. That tree species has a long set of roots that intertwine with the others around it. And as such, when the wind hits the trees, the roots are then pushed up, and so it looks like the ground is moving. Number 6. Sand Fleas Behold, a menace to both fishermen and beachgoers alike, sand fleas are small beings that you can find both on the beaches that you walk on and in the depths of the ocean. To be clear, they're not the most harmful of things to you, but it's the last thing that you want to be covered with. Despite some reports, they do not bite. That's another species of animal entirely. However, they are quite the pests, especially since they can jump really well, and that means that they can land on you and scurry around. For fishermen, they do hate the sand fleas because they eat up all their bait, their fish, and even their crabs at times, and basically they just ruin every fishing spot for them. Number 5. Bioluminescent Beach now, we'll talk about something that you can see and should want to see at a beach if you go to the right one. As I've already spoken about, there are certain bodies of water that have algae within them, and that's very par for the course. But some of those algae, or equally microscopic organisms, can have an extra effect on the water. Mainly, they're bioluminescent, which means that they glow. In this case, certain beaches in places like Cuba, the Maldives, and others have microorganisms that glow when they're stimulated such as when a wave crashes on the shore of the beach or when you walk on the water or hit it with your hand. At night, it's quite the visual, and beaches that have this ability have become a popular tourist spot. Number 4. Blue Lava now, I've just talked about glowing blue water, and now I'll inform you about blue lava, a phenomenon that many have studied over the years and many think is something it's not. This is another example of science in action, because it's not entirely what you may think. Because lava itself is consistent in its look and temperature, it burns red-orange because of the temperature that it's at, and it can burn blue without getting much hotter. So why are there pictures of blue lava? Well, it's because of an illusion. Sulfur gases can burn blue when exposed to hot air, and such as the island of Java, where there are many deposits of sulfur. So when a volcano erupts there, the lava then comes out, the sulfur burns alongside it, and suddenly you have blue lava. Plus, it's only visible at night. And that's why you have to trust in science, because what you see isn't always worth believing. Number 3. Fiery Ocean this next one is not an illusion or a trick of the mind. Water is supposed to put out fire. That's just simple science. But there are cases when fires can burn so hot or be created in such a specific way that water can't do anything to it. For example, in Mexico, an oil pipeline burst and caught fire somehow. When that happened, the mixture of oil and heat would lead the waters to boiling on the surface and it created a fire once it reached it. As you can see in the clip, there's a definitive ring of fire followed outside it by a bunch of boiling water. They had to send out fire suppression boats just to try and calm it down before it did any kind of major damage. Thankfully, no one would be hurt in the incident, but that could have been much worse had things gone in a different direction. Number 2. La Jument at one point in history, navigation was tricky at best. Even when you knew the stars, the general direction of places you were going, and so on, things could go very wrong if you weren't careful. That's why lighthouses were put all over the world during the age of sailing. A lighthouse would be your guide in the storm, as well as to let you know when you were close to certain landfall. If you head to France right now, you're going to see one oddly placed lighthouse in La Jument. But why is it so odd? Well, that's because instead of being on solid land, it appears to be cropping out of the ocean itself. So why put it there? Well, that's because of a spot near France that was known for rugged terrain, frequent storms, and many shipwrecks. A lighthouse saved many lives because of its beacon, so while it may be odd, it's something that you want to see if you're in rough seas near that part of France. Number 1. They Don't Mix 
Typically, when different bodies of water meet, they just flow into one another, and you don't really see a difference. However, there are points in the world where two very different bodies of water meet, and as a result, they basically repel one another, to the point where you can see the divider line of where they meet. One such place is in China, where the muddy Yangtze River meets the clear Han River, and it's quite a visual. But that goes to show you that sometimes things just don't mix. To be clear, it's because of the composition that they don't mix and nothing else. That's all from the realm of our world and what you're not supposed to see in it. Which of these things are you glad that you likely won't see up close? And what ones do you feel aren't as bad as advertised? And really, why shouldn't you see some of this stuff? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.